Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you here. And this time I'm going to talk about the difference between Windows 11 Home Edition and Professional Edition. Windows 11 is the latest version of Microsoft Windows and it comes in different versions, but all the operating systems of the past and of the future will always have and always did have the Home Edition and Pro, and then you'll also find Enterprise and others. So we're going to focus on Home and Pro since those are the two main ones. The Home Edition is the basic version which is really for home use for basic needs like browsing the web, checking email and other basic applications. On the other hand, the Professional Edition is for business use and has more advanced features that are important for when you're in a corporate environment trying to connect to a server and need other features as well. So what are the key differences between the Home and the Pro? We're going to have a look at that. But first, just a quick disclaimer that this is a very basic overview to give you an idea of what the differences are between Home and Pro. This isn't meant to be a full exclusive list. I do have a link below in the description of this video that will tell you all the details of all the features between the Home and the Pro. So first of all, let's look at the Home Edition. You'll find features such as the Microsoft Edge browser, Windows Hello facial recognition login, device encryption, parental controls, secure boot, Cortana Digital Assistant, Microsoft Store for apps and games, Timeline for accessing recent documents and apps, Microsoft Photos and movies and TV apps, Windows Inc. for digital pen and touch input, and Windows Security for protection against viruses and malware. So let's have a look at the Pro Edition now. In addition to the features that you'll find in the Home Edition, you're also going to find these features. It includes Windows Update for Business, which allows IT professionals such as myself to manage and monitor the update process. You'll find BitLocker encryption for securing data on the hard drive, and you'll find a remote desktop for accessing your computer from anywhere. Although there are third-party apps out there that will allow you to do remote access, but this has something built in. You'll find Hyper-V virtualization for running multiple operating systems on one computer. There's a group policy for controlling user settings and restrictions. Enterprise mode for running legacy web apps and Internet Explorer. Assigned access for limiting access to a single app for a user. WIP, which is Windows Information Protection to protect against data leaks. Dynamic provisioning to get up and running faster out of the box, which is great if you're trying to do things yourself. There's also a kiosk mode for any stores that want to have some kind of a display running. And then there's Active Directory for joining domains and managing your network a lot better. So which version is best for you? Well, the Home Edition is good if it's just basic use, even if you're running a business and you're just one person working from home or you're just a small group of people, really 10 computers or less, you can probably get away with the Home Edition and just have one computer sharing files or if things are in the cloud, then that's not even an issue. So you may be fine with the Home Edition, even if you're running a little small business. However, if you're running a business, that is more than 10 computers, you're most likely going to need the Pro Edition to be able to handle multiple users accessing the same files at the same time. Also, some of the other advanced features that are going to be required possibly for what you're doing. You can refer back to the list that I mentioned in the video or look again at the link that I put in the description of this video. One important thing is if you have a managed IT company handling all your computer needs they're trying to protect you better and this only works if you have the pro edition of your windows 10 11 or 12 when that comes out if it's the home edition there are certain things that can still be done but things like managing windows updates just won't work unless you're on the pro edition so now you should know the main difference between the home and pro edition and which one might be best for you 
but if you happen to buy a computer that is the home edition you can actually upgrade to the pro edition after the fact so you don't need to worry if you accidentally bought something with home or you find out a short time after buying home that it was working for you originally but you need to upgrade to pro or you would like to to take advantage of some of the more advanced features then you could definitely very easily upgrade to pro from within the microsoft store and that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.